Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks, third video of the day. Did a lockdown news roundup earlier. You can find it at hugotalks.com, link below in the comments and in description. So here we see this story. This is following on from the pandemic supposedly making food shelves empty due to truck drivers being told they can't come into work because they have to isolate. It says here, army on standby to stock Britain's shelves. Up to 2,000 HGV drivers from Royal Logistics Corps are on five day to notice to deliver food and essentials to UK supermarkets due to a shortage of 100,000 truckers. The government is expected to make a formal request to the military for help imminently to cope with crisis. A crisis that, well, it has to be said, has been created by an app that tells you to isolate, even if you have no symptoms. An app that you don't even have to download in the first place. You're doing it to yourselves. But then who knows? I got an email today from a truck driver who has worked in the industry before. He has been looking for work and says that typically in the past shortages would see the big distribution centers, Sainsbury's, etc., raise wages and others would be a few quid behind. But he says he, he says he's in Crewe, which has many transport companies in surrounding areas. And from what he sees, there is no hourly rate increase, which he believes is very odd, given the situation he says here. He says, when you look at it logically, are Asda, Tesco, etc. just going to be supplied with army drivers for free who have never undertaken that work or are the army going to deliver food in their vehicles? And he reckons it's all a bit odd, shall we say. Now, I don't know about you, but I have noticed some changes recently at my local supermarkets. One has put up, for instance, loads of bollards out of the front door that weave back and forth as if it's going to be used in the future for very long queues. And I'm just curious, have you noticed any changes recently to your local supermarket? Because they seem to know about these things in advance. Have you noticed any changes to the entrance and the exit as if they foresee something happening in the near future? Let us know in the comments. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com and I'll see you later.